We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ms. Sylvia Pohl, who is Deputy Permanent Representative of the Permanent Mission of Costa Rica to the United Nations in Geneva, and she's also Vice Chairman of the Council Working Group for Child Online Protection. Ms. Pohl, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's a big honor. Child online protection has received overwhelming support globally and in Costa Rica. President Lara Chinchilla has joined hands with ITU as patron of this initiative. Why is it so important for Costa Rica? This is a very important initiative for Costa Rica. Uh, since 2010, when the president was invited to be the patron of this worldwide initiative, she felt first very honored, but also uh, felt a very big responsibility. Costa Rica has always been a, a country which has uh, placed a lot of importance in issues related to human rights, to peace, to security, and to social issues. And one very important project for her is to give accessibility to um, telecommunications to all the population of Costa Rica, and that includes also children. children. She always has uh, uh, thought that the importance of having accessibility to telecommunica telecommunications, to ICTs, uh, will bring a lot of opportunities to our population, to the, the country. And, um, and she has placed a lot of efforts on that. But at the same time, she also recognized that in the case of children, there's also a lot of challenges related to the problems that can come up uh, of the use of internet uh, and, uh, uh, and all the things related to children online. And for her, first at a national level, she made a big effort to establish a, a commission. It was a commission where the government with civil society, with the private sector, have been working together to try to um, push these issues, but from a side, uh, from an angle related to education, to uh, creating awareness about the problems that can come up with, uh, with the use uh, and the dangers that are in, in the internet for children. So this she has also tried to um, put as an example uh, for the rest of the world. And she has tried to work diligently with Dr. Ture and ITU uh, to try to create awareness and promote the importance of, on one side, all the opportunities that uh, the online world can give to young people, but on the other side also be, be um, aware of, of the problems and the dangers for children. Now, you're vice chairman of the council working group here at the ITU. At the international level, what steps have been taken by the council to strengthen child online protection? Well, the, the latest um, uh, steps have been very important. Uh, since last year, we, we re-established the COP Partners Group. And it's a group of a lot of members of, from governments, from, from civil society, uh, from private sector. Uh, we had last year a big meeting during the WISIS Forum. And this year, we had another meeting during the WISIS Forum, which was even more successful. And that uh, is a big um, uh, uh, positive sign about the interest in the issues. And uh, this, has, this has given a platform for, for a lot of actors uh, and stakeholders related to uh, the COP to be able to exchange experiences and establish guidelines where we want to go with the COP initiative. And, um, and these are one, this is one of the, the big uh, projects that have been uh, really working really well. And finally, Costa Rica is hosting the Global Youth Summit in yes. September. What do you hope will be achieved by the summit? Well, we're first of all very honored that uh, we're hosting the Global Youth Summit. It's the first ITU Global Youth Sum Summit. And uh, the premise to this event is to try to um, get over 500 youth to come to Costa Rica and discuss around ICTs the big issues related to what is important to them in relation to uh, uh, job to jobs in relation to the environment, in relation to safety online, uh, in relation to health, and um, and also accessibility. And uh, after three days, we want to have a very dynamic event. We want to break a little bit about uh, from the traditional way of doing meetings because we will be surrounded by young people who want to have probably do things a little different. So we will have workshops. We will even do some off-site activities. It, and, and not everything will be in the hotel where the summit will be held. And um, 
And at the end, what we want to have is very specific outcomes. Uh, we want to have, for example, a permanent uh, exhibition about the COP in Costa Rica that, that will s hopefully stay in Costa Rica. And uh, we will also want to uh, have a final document about the biggest issues and the discussions related to all these young people that the President of Costa Rica will be taking to the General Assembly only two weeks later uh, in New York and, and presenting it to the, the whole UN system and telling them what, what the young people. And it's also very oriented to the post-millennium development goals, the post-2015, what they want beyond that. What, what they are going to be the future leaders the people who will be leading our countries, uh, our, our businesses, our NGOs, and we want to know what they want and how they see the world, but always at the core ICTs and how ICTs can serve as a tool to get to, uh, uh, to discuss other issues related uh, to uh, the post-MDGs. Silvia Pell, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much.